Hour, the horror with your hostess with the most, Jennifer, as always, welcome back. So, of course, we're doing some more reviews this week and everything. Let's see what I have for you this week. Uh, first movie we're going to be talking about, or at least one of the movies, I don't know what I'm going to be posting first, but whatever. If this is not the first one, whatever, whatever. You guys will forgive me. Uh, movie we're talking about today is the original When a Stranger Calls from 1979. This was my number... 122 movie for my binge. Uh, this is starring Carol Kane, Charles Dunning, Colleen Dewhurst, and Ron O'Neill. So I think a lot of people have kind of at least somewhat heard about the original if you have not already seen it. Most notorious thing about it is the first 15 minutes of this movie. That's what everybody always talks about. Carol Kane goes to the Mon McDrakis residents to babysit their kids while they are out uh, whining and dining and catching a movie and everything. And of course, she starts getting these phone calls, these sort of like crank phone calls. She kind of dismisses them at first. They keep coming in. And all this guy ever keeps saying is, have you checked the children? Have you checked the children? That's all he ever does. That's all he ever does. Nothing like too obscene or anything. But it starts creeping her out a little bit. Um, she ends up starting to call the cops, let them know, like, hey, you know, I'm getting these calls. They kind of pass it off to, at first, they're like, hey, you know, we get, like, a dozen calls like this a night. Wouldn't be too worried about it. If he keeps bothering you, call us back. So, you know, she does. She calls him back because, obviously, the guy is not leaving her alone. So they're like, all right, we're going to go ahead and, uh, trace the call. Well, they trace the call. Yes. It's coming from inside the house. Yes, because they have two phone lines. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and last, one of the last calls, too, is, uh, which, oh, is really creepy. And I think it's, like, right before the cops call back, letting her know that the guy's in the house. She picks up, and he simply says, why haven't you checked the children? Oh, my God. And that music and everything. Gets me every time, uh, but yeah, we find out that the kids actually are, have been killed, have been murdered, and everything, so yeah. Uh, jumps to 70 years later and everything, uh, they ended up, like, obviously putting the guy away, but the guy escapes and everything, so then the rest of the movie is literally, um, Charles Dunning character, Charles Dunning character pretty much trying to track this guy down, <clears throat> you know, and he, you know, he was the arresting officer for seven years prior, and of course he's kind of like, okay, gotta find this guy, you know, he wants to make sure that his reputation is upheld and everything, and yeah, so this movie, some of the younger kids, I don't know if they're gonna quite enjoy this one just because the, the way that horror movies are now it's very much get into the action boom 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 you know this one's kind of you know like yeah you get the you know first 15 minutes you get all the stuff and then the rest is pretty much this uh cat and mouse game that's kind of building up the suspense and everything you know so in compared to a lot of the movies now I like I I don't know if a lot of the younger kids are going to uh, enjoy this, so I'm mean, I'm just saying unless if you're someone like me who I really don't mind I do like the you know slower burn telling a story type of movies because I need a change once in a while you know and this is a very effective one uh, very good and it's just oh especially that first fifteen once again like I said everyone always talks about the first first fifteen minutes of this movie uh, but honestly the last like. 15 minutes or so of this movie just as effective and I think it's very hard for anyone to execute that where you have you know boom you got something right away suspense scare the shit out of you and then turn right around for the remainder of the movie to build up the suspense and everything and like ooh, what's gonna happen is this guy gonna kill what's gonna happen is he gonna find Carol Kane like you know, and that's the other thing, too, because, you know, Carol Kane does come back around. It's not like she's completely gone for the rest of the movie. Not as much, you know, during the movie, but comes kind of back around to her and everything, and you're just like, oh, no! I don't really want to spoil it for anyone who might not have seen the original, but this is definitely one you should check out. Don't watch 
don't watch the remake. The remake just... And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's a little side story about about uh, When a Stranger Calls. When I first watched this, it was maybe a year or so before they announced that they were remaking this movie. And I had a thought. Oh my god, if they ever remake this movie, they are just going to take that first 15 minutes and stretch it out into a whole movie. Now... I have no problem with that, you know, because I, I feel like, once again, today's day and age, you know, today's viewers in horror, especially, like I said, I feel like more of the younger crowd and everything, and I'm not trying to say that, like, disrespectfully, guys, it's just what you guys have grown up with and what you're accustomed to and everything. Me, like, yeah, I have kind of grew up around a lot of that stuff, too, but I've also have seen some of those slower burn type of movies that really kind of try to tell a story. So I'm not trying to disrespect you guys or anything. I'm just saying from what you guys are kind of being thrown at you and everything, uh, you know, I don't know a lot of you, if a lot of you guys would have been uh, down for a remake that, you know, once again, first like 15, 20 minutes, you got this and then the rest of the story. I would have kind of liked to have seen that, but Instead, like I said, we got the whole movie kind of like just based off the first 15 minutes. I don't think it was really done that effectively. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe seeing it as more of like a short or something in an anthology, I'd be okay with kind of remaking it. But, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but whatever. But no, this is a this is a really uh, great movie, the, the original uh, when a stranger calls, I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, and I don't feel like a lot of people don't really talk about it except for the first 15 minutes. Like you guys, let's start talking more about this movie, please. I'm challenging you guys. If you're watching this video, go watch the original, give some thoughts on it. I'm just saying whether it's positive or negative. Hey, whatever, man, different strokes for different folks. I'm just saying, but anyway, guys, that is one of Stranger Calls from 1979. Let me know what you think in comments. Till next time, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.